Arch Manning, the number one quarterback in the class and the number one recruit in the class of 2023, will commit to the Georgia Bulldogs. At least that's my official prediction. But let's really look at the recruiting landscape because clearly Georgia is where Arch Manning is going to land. Yesterday was the third time that Arch Manning was on Georgia's campus and was his first official visit in Athens. The only school that he's been to more than Georgia is Alabama. However, there's only one problem. Alabama already got a big time quarterback commit in the 2023 class and four star quarterback Eli Holstein, who's also out of Louisiana. So I highly doubt that Alabama is going to double dip in this class to get two top tier quarterbacks especially with probably the money that they had to spend on those NIL deals, especially to get Arch Manning. I highly doubt they're going to double dip to get two quarterbacks. So I feel like we can comfortably move Alabama out of the running for Arch Manning, which only leaves Texas and LSU as the other real big options that Arch Manning could go to. Now, theoretically, LSU could be a good spot for Arch Manning to land. I mean, he is in Louisiana, staying in state, you know, being the hometown hero. It, it sounds good. However, in my opinion, Arch Manning wants to go somewhere where he can actually have a real chance of winning a national title. I know LSU won a couple years ago, but the recruiting class that they had put together to have Joe Burrow and have that special year, that's a once in a lifetime thing. I don't think that that LSU is going to be replicating that anytime soon. So I, I simply don't think, I don't think that Arch Manning goes to LSU simply for the fact that they're not going to be able to compete, not only for titles, they're not going to be able to compete really in the SEC. Also, LSU is heavily recruiting a fellow quarterback in the class 23 and four-star quarterback Jaden Rashada out of Pittsburgh, California. Obviously, LSU would take Arch over Jaden, but I, I think LSU knows that they're not going to be getting Arch Manning. Which only leaves Texas as the only other team, I believe, that has a real chance of winning the Arch Manning sweepstakes. However, there's just one problem again with that. Texas is at minimum going to be locked up in the Quinn Ears era for at least two years. And to me, it's kind of a tough sell to tell Arch Manning that he's not going to see some real playing time until his junior year. Also, while Arch Manning would be at Texas if he did decide to go to Texas, Texas would be moving to the SEC and again, I don't see Texas being able to be a powerhouse in the SEC. So what's the only school that's left that is a big time program who needs a quarterback and it will legitimately give you a shot each and every single year to not only dominate in that conference, but also make it to the college football playoffs. That would be the Georgia Bulldogs. However, don't get me wrong, it's not like Georgia has a completely empty quarterback room. They have a fellow five-star quarterback in redshirt freshman Brock Vandergrift, and they picked up a four-star quarterback in last year's class in Gunnar Stockton. However, from all the news that I can gather, it looks like Stetson Bennett's going to be the starting quarterback yet again next year. And so if neither of those guys are able to beat out Stetson Bennett, who we should all know is not that good of a quarterback, if neither of those guys were able to hands down beat him to get the starting job, I think Arch Manning would clearly and easily be able to walk in day one and beat them, at worst sit a year and be able to beat them the next year. I think when you put all the pieces together and you really look at what's been happening in the college football recruiting world, and you just look at where all the quarterbacks in this class and next class are going, you look at the moves that have already been made, I think it is quite clear to see that Arch Manning will be a Georgia Bulldog by the end of the 2023 season. But I want to hear from y'all. Comment down below where you guys think the Arch Manning will land. Do you guys think that he's going to Texas, Georgia, Alabama? Could he go to LSU, maybe Ole Miss, Texas A&M? Those are like really like the top, top schools that, that he could potentially go to. But I think really the top three schools that he could be going to are Alabama, Texas, and Georgia. I think that those are clearly the top three choices. But again, be sure to comment your thoughts down below in the comment section. Be sure to leave this video a like, hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications because you don't want to miss any of the fire videos that we're dropping and we're only road to 300k and we bring you all of the latest college football news and the high school football news. We're going to be starting the NFL news here very shortly because the season's right around the corner. I know everybody's excited about that. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all. Now we'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.